What? I didn't study! Not that kind of quiz. And if you're watching my video, you're probably not in school anymore. But if you are, say hey in the comments below. It'll keep me feeling young. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make those cute little Instagram story quizzes. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Kate Danielle and I, my goal is to help the DIY designer look great online in less time so you can get back to doing what you love in your business. So I've only seen these little questionnaires on Instagram a few times, but we are going to totally make them a thing because I think they're fun, don't you? So let's head on over to Canva and I'll show you how you can quickly make your own. The easiest way to set up these cute little Instagram story questionnaires and quizzes is to head over to Canva. You want to use custom dimensions of 1080 by 1920 pixels and click design. You can then choose your background color. I would use one of your brand colors. If you don't already have those uploaded, you can input a color code here. The first one I laid out was a this or that um, circle questionnaire. And so I just started um, by brainstorming a couple options and then I clicked T on my keyboard to insert a text box. And then you can, I would go ahead and format this one however you want it, the, you know, in the font you want it, the size you want it. Because then you're going to kind of drag that over to the edge, roughly where you want it, and click copy. Then you can drag this one over and use the smart guides to line it up. Then click in there and type the word you need there. And it's already in the right font and size. You then can drag and select both of those. Click copy again. And now you have words already there for you to use. Just and keep doing that with all your choices. I then came over here and searched Canva for some icons. Now I am in Canva for work so my free options may vary from yours um, but if they cost they're just a dollar each. You could also search on Pixabay or search images on Google um, when searching images on Google, just make sure you click the little tools button and change the usage rights to labeled for reuse. So I used my smart guides to lay everything out. I inserted a line and I do that under elements, lines. I click this first one, rotate it. If you want to change the thickness, you got to drag this corner node way in. And then you'll probably have to zoom in for this point and drag this out to the size you want it. And you change the color. And you can use the smart guides to center that. I also included instructions and my Instagram name. So the idea is people will screenshot this, use the little pen tools on Instagram to circle their choices and share it with their viewers and also provide a blank copy um, for their followers to have fun with. The next one I did was a sort of like a quiz. It's your favorite things when I'm working. I just inputted text the same way. Everything is to the left. I spaced it out a little bit. And again, you want to get that first line of text the way you want it. So then you can just copy, change the word, and use your smart guides to line them up. I then use the boxes under elements, shapes. I used that first one to input a box. I sized it down to how I wanted it. And I changed the opacity up a little bit. So it is just a white box, and then I just brought the opacity down to about 70 for each one. And I used my smart guides to make sure those were lined up all on the right, and then I just sized them out to the left to meet up with the word. And this one will need um, some instructions as well. So I'm just going to drag and select all of these, and it's already grouped together, but if it wasn't, you'll want to group it and copy. 
And Instagram is wanting to be glitchy today and not copy everything um, the way it should. For some reason, it spaced it way out and changed my color of my Instagram tag. That happens sometimes with Canva. So I'm just going to ungroup it so I can drag this back down. line these up. Now this might be spaced out too much because the um, DM, the message thing there on Instagram appears right here. So I'm going to have to select all of this and drag it up. I'm going to just use my arrow keys and that should be better. And the idea with this one is they can use the type tool to fill in the blanks and then screenshot a blank one. So this last one is a new fun thing I'm testing out, and it is a motivational Mad Lib. So you can download this, um, you can find the link below or in the post, and share this on Instagram and tag me. Put in your goal in one word that describes what you need to reach it, and I will share on my story your personalized motivational quote and tag you as well. So now let's head over to Instagram and talk about how to set these up. So I'm working on a Mac and an iPhone. So my favorite way to transport things is just to airdrop. You could always email them to yourself or use Dropbox or something like that. I'm going to head over to Instagram and add one of these. And we're just going to do this one for now. For the first one, I am going to go ahead and use my pen tool to input my answers. This is the best way for people to know what to do. And then you could do some things on here, but you're not going to take up too much room. Um, I'm going to do an invisible hashtag. And I haven't researched this, so I don't know if there are any hashtags regarding these. I'm sure there are. Yeah, we're just going to go IG quiz. Okay. And to make this invisible, you got to actually be back in here. You're going to use this dropper tool and select your background color. Don't call me, I'm busy. Okay, and so the hashtag is there. I think it's like right down here somewhere. Yep. But you can't see it. And now I'm just going to add this to my story. I'm going to go back and screenshot this myself. So now I just really want to highlight the instructions. So I'm going to use a bright color, like maybe this purple. And draw some arrows. And actually, I think I'll use a GIF. So it'll dance around and really draw attention. This one looks fun. I'm just going to kind of position it. I think I'll get rid of my little arrow. And you do that by going back to the pen tool and clicking undo. Okay. And now I'm going to add that to my story. And it just draws some extra attention. And now you need to upload a blank one again. And now we can watch those back. So here was the first one. Here's with the pointing hand, and there is the last one for them to screenshot. So, don't you think those look fun? Let me know in the comments below what kind of quizzes and question things that you can share on your Instagram stories. And don't forget that you can go download mine to use. And I would love it if you would fill in my motivational Mad Lib so I can create you a custom motivational quote from one of my all-time favorite quotes. So go check that out. Now. But before you leave, be sure to subscribe for good vibes so you can get more of my design tips and tricks for the DIY designer.